Needs and wants are two very different things, so to cut right to the chase, no we absolutely do not need a Resident Evil 4 remake, but I absolutely want one, because I'm the type of gluttonous Resident Evil fan that sees the Resident Evil logo slapped on pretty much anything and I'm like... Ah. I'll buy it at a high price. The first thing I noticed when watching the remake announcement trailer was Capcom's attempt to hammer it home that Resident Evil 4 is set in Spain, and what better way to do this than by playing some fabulous salsa music during the intro. Now I'm really glad they've made the Spanish setting abundantly clear this time round, because I had no idea where I was or who I was dealing with in the original. I mean, at first I thought I was fighting some Nazi Hitler worshipping cult that were all attacking me while chanting Go Hitler, go Hitler, go Hitler. Go Hitler, go Hitler, go Hitler, go Hitler. Go Hitler! Go Hitler! But just to confuse me even further, this religious cult is known as the Los Anumanados. The virus itself is called Las Plagas. There's a mutated salamander named Del Lago. And there's even a monstrous 15-foot humanoid beast known as El Gigante. Obviously, things weren't made clear enough in the original, so they've slapped some salsa music over the intro that's gonna really help. And that's got me putting two and two together as well, and I think I know where they're going with this. It can only mean one thing for Leon when he comes face to face with the remade versions of the infected locals, aka the Ganados. My salsa makes all the pretty girls want to dance and take off their underpants, my salsa. I feel like this Resident Evil 4 remake is going to be a tough one for Capcom to get right for numerous reasons. Firstly, the original version still holds up ridiculously well and PC players even have the luxury of remastering it themselves by slapping a new coat of paint on it thanks to the unbelievably good work of the two modders that created the Resident Evil 4 HD project. This is one of the best fan-made remasters I've seen, but even without the use of this mod, the original still stands its ground even today. And secondly, there's so many series defining moments and iconic characters that have been cemented into the history of Resident Evil. When it comes to the original Resident Evil 2 and 3 versus their remakes, the difference is night and day. In 1998 and 1999, the graphical technology and the money within the industry to hire the best writers and the highest quality voice actors was nothing compared to today. I mean, it was nothing compared to 2005 too, which is when the original Resident Evil 4 released. And because of these improvements, Capcom were able to paint a much more vivid picture and narrate a far more memorable cinematic experience in Resident Evil 4. It feels like remaking Resident Evil 2 and 3 was basically apples and oranges, whereas remaking Resident Evil 4 could come a little closer to being tomato-tomato. I do believe that they can pull it off though. I've just finished playing the original again and there's some areas that can definitely be improved on. The controls are fairly up to scratch even compared to today's modern standards, but there's room for improvement. The aiming can be a little overly forgiving at times and there's a desperate need for quick swapping my weapons so I'm not constantly hopping in and out of my inventory which they'll no doubt be adding. There are some things I'm worried about though, things that they could tinker with a little too much though. Like are we going to see a faithful remake of the greatest merchant in gaming history or are they going to completely butcher his character into something unrecognisable where he doesn't expose himself to the player every time you meet him? Welcome. The original character models and their animations were laughably limited, so this is another area that will likely see some much needed additions, but let's not forget that this is a group of highly intelligent people that install toilet roll dispensers next to their urinals. Now, I'm all for this. I haven't shaken for years since I started dabbing. There's nothing worse than a little dribble 15 minutes later, and even though these infected locals are just a little bit balmy, you know full well they're under pants will be a crisp, dazzling white. There are a few glimpses of horror in the original too, but it looks like Capcom are doubling down on the horror aspect of the game, and I'm okay with that if it's done well, but firstly, third person horrors just don't scare me anything like a first person horror game does, and secondly, the original was so action heavy, I hope they don't do away with the action too much and get a nice blend of the two. Looting for ammo, health items and money were a constant feature and I hope they maintain this, especially when it comes to choosing which weapon 
weapons to buy and which weapons to invest in. Leon was a timid rookie in Resident Evil 2, but he turned into a badass martial arts expert worthy of being hired personally by the President of the United States of America. I'd like to know a little bit more into the backstory as to how that came about and a little bit more into the narrative sense of things and how are they going to integrate his spinning kick moves into the remake, if at all. Will they include the quick time events too? These were utterly pointless in my opinion and only offer a morsel of fun the first time you play. So they could definitely do away with those. What are Capcom's plans with the other characters in the game? I highly doubt they'll be as wacky as the original following the themes of the previous remakes. I imagine they'll probably be a little bit grittier and more grounded in their performances rather than the likes of the eccentric Salazar and the cheesy Lord Sadler. I'm hoping they keep the traditional Resident Evil puzzles in the remake too, and an area I'd like to see Capcom make more use of was the tag team moments in the game, where we controlled Ashley with and without Leon being by her side. Resident Evil games are known for throwing in some cool game modes after completing the game, and the use of Ada Wong could come into play again, maybe even used in some form of co-op mode, that would be cool. I can't pretend I haven't got concerns for this remake though. I loved the Resident Evil 2 remake and I enjoyed the Resident Evil 3 remake even though it was ridiculously short. One thing Resident Evil 4 remake can't be is short because the original took around 16 to 17 hours to complete which was perfect in length. Having said that, I like new things and I'm excited to see what Capcom do with this. It's not like they're taking the original off the market is it? So what's to complain about? What do you guys reckon? Are you excited or are you worried about this remake? Remake. We've got some time to ponder over the possibilities at least with the game planned for release 24th of March 2023 and we'll no doubt get some more details before then. I don't think there's any doubt that every diehard Resident Evil fan will be dipping into their pockets to purchase this remake, whether they're excited or not, and Capcom will no doubt reply, <laughs> Thank you.